<gasps> hey! There are many ways to interpret all the letters in the alphabet. For instance, A could stand for apple, an amazing and appetizing treat. B could be for a big, beautiful butterfly fluttering through the sky. And C could be all sorts of things. Calm? C. Courageous? C. Cowardly? C. Crazy? C. Or even cool? C. But all too often, D has stood for death. Yes, this is a story about the most evil of all the letters, F, and how it became the villain it is today. You see, F had started to attack various seemingly random letters of the alphabet, picking them off one by one. He started locking up his victims in handcuffs deep inside the caverns of his mountain fortress. D and F had no idea why they were being taken captive, but clearly something was wrong with F. Boy, it changed from when they were young and not for the better. Of course, there were those who looked to end his reign of terror. G called out with his horn to enlist the help of his ABC allies. Together, they formed a cab and swore to track down F to the ends of the earth. But they were too late to save H. His faint ghostly body faded away like dust in the wind. And even that was a better fate than that of I. I. The poor little guy was jumped on and squashed repeatedly, eventually becoming a diabolical weapon used by F against the other alphabet letters. J was incinerated instantly, never to be heard from again. While K was left in a state of shock, having just witnessed the death of his dearest friend. <laughs> But F would have no mercy on him. He forced K to become a set of rapid flapping wings that allowed him to soar through the air. Meanwhile, G, C, A, and B drove furiously towards the chaos in order to defeat F and his new unwilling partners. Though, when they finally arrived, they discovered I was too powerful. He charged up an enormous shot enough to wipe them all from the alphabet for good. G, C, A, and B huddled together, bracing for certain death. Luckily for them, L showed up to save the day just in the nick of time, along with his entire group of superheroes, L M N O P. You see, they were seen as the protectors of the alphabet. Each of them had a very special gem that gave them immense power. M was able to break him free from F using his super strength, allowing him to fly away to safety. But... The attacks of N and O were much less successful, barely doing any kind of damage. When it was P's turn to attack, everyone was mesmerized, particularly G, who had been in love with her for as long as he could remember. F used the distraction as a chance to steal N's semicolon gem. With his new power in hand, he retreated back to his cavernous lair, locking up I away for good. After losing the semicolon crystal, N became normal once again. Disgusted by his failure, L and O flew away. One letter in particular, Q, frantically crawled towards the other letters. He seemed desperate to tell them something, but his slow, snail-like body never allowed him to fully reach them. It didn't take long for F to claim another victim. He attacked R and dragged him back to his fortress with I, E, and D. With F lost again, the others needed direction. The letters M, A, and P came together to form a map for G to track down F's location. He was heading straight for S. Try as they might, the heroes were too late to save S. The letter had been eaten by F, slurped down like a spaghetti noodle. L and O were the first to arrive. They tried to stop F in his tracks with their magical auras. But F had become too powerful. He easily shrugged off their attacks using the semicolon gem he stole from N earlier and wasted no time collecting the colon and period gems from L and O. He felt all the force energy of the punctuation crystals flowing through him. Soon, no one would be strong enough to defeat him, and his plan would be complete. After that, F attacked 
smashing him like a hammer into the ground. The other letters tried to stand up to F, but not even M with super strength. Any damage to him, F stole M's comma crystal. The only one that stood even the slightest chance was P. She bolted around with supersonic speed, thanks to her exclamation point gem. She was able to land several mighty blows against F, knocking him down to the ground. Still, she was no true match for him. As she charged up her beam attack, F was able to strike her with the comma freeze ray he had just stolen from M, leaving her locked in time. F has won. With four of the six punctuation gems in hand, he possessed abilities no other letter would dare to fight. That is, except for C, who had always been brave in the face of danger. like old newspaper. F's work here was done. He flew away with B. The others mourned the loss of their friend C, but realized that if they were to ever defeat F, they would have to get creative. G and M joined forces with you in order to form a weapon. Surely this would be the answer to all their problems, right? One blast and their nightmare could be all over. They fired F just as he was about to attack V. A direct hit. G, U, and N all rejoice. It was finally over. Until they realized F had more tricks up his sleeve. Somehow, he was able to disguise P as himself. G hadn't saved the day. He had shot his love. And with that, a new word inside N's mind is formed. Coward. N thought back to everyone that had died or been captured. How no one was able to save them, including Elemental P, the supposed saviors of this realm. How was he going to stand up to F now? Meanwhile, F went back to his mountain to prepare for the final phase of his evil plan before being stopped in his tracks by X. X was a noble warrior. His beaming asterisk gem glistened in the air. His special power was the ability to clone himself. Identical copies of X started to spread out far and wide. Rounding F in waves. The strategy worked. F was perplexed by the clones. He had no idea where to attack, so he surrendered his gems. Being the chivalrous ninja he was, X obliged and put down his gem as well, revealing the true X. But chivalry can also be foolish. Without the element of surprise, X was instantly dispatched by F and his mighty jaws. And with him defeated, F was able to steal his crystal. Now only one punctuation gem remained out of his grasp. As Y mourned the loss of X, F began to set his trap. He plopped against the sides of the wall, creating oozing puddles of disgusting black goo. Then he vomited up S, locking him and R in chains alongside I, E, and D. Clearly, he was trying to spell out something. It seemed that F no longer needed the gems. The crystals placed themselves along the path inside the mountain as a sort of trail heading straight for F. The other letters cautiously entered. N, transfixed, started to pick up the gems one by one as his team was slowly picked apart. M, U, G, A, all taken away by the gross black darkness spread by F. It seemed as if N would be next. A giant set of sharp teeth filled the tunnel like a flood, and N was forced to flee. But instead of killing N, it led him all the way to S inner sanctum. N wasted no time retrieving the last of the punctuation gems and transforming into his final form, unleashing an attack of rainbow energy directly at F. what F was trying to spell.
со всех сторон. Экс, 
X, 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 X. Thank <laughs> you. 